Chris Atkins here. Welcome back to my channel, The Car Wash Chronicles. I made the four hour drive all the way to Las Vegas to a car wash that you might find a little familiar for those of you who saw my video, probably three or four videos ago, renovating this exact car wash. And I have the car wash owner, Ben, who you may remember. Hey guys. So the moment of truth is here. The car wash is, would you say 100% completely remodeled? Is there anything uh, else you want to do to it? No, yeah. As of as of last Friday, adding tokens into my my payment system that's that's pretty much the icing on term. the cake. That was kind of icing on the cake. So nice. Now it's, now it's getting people here. So I wanted to drive out here and film a video just to give you guys a tour. I want to compare it to the footage I got pre remodel, so I can show you guys some of that and just show you exactly what Ben's done to it. a loud car revving their engine but that's enough talk let's give this car wash a tour and see what kind of uh, improvements Ben made <laughs> Give us the grand tour. Let's check out the uh, new coin boxes. Do it. See what you've installed. I didn't install it, but it got installed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So here okay. it is. So we got, yes, 10 roadie switch coin boxes. So if you watch the first and I think the second videos, uh -huh. we showed the old coin boxes, which were some of them had, you know, written in rinse with marker because. They've been ripped off the old stickers and I was to the point that I wasn't buying new stickers for right. boxes I was about to replace. Typical signs you'll see at a completely run down old car wash that hasn't been touched in exactly. 10, 15, 20 years. But you, you took over this car wash and you put in these brand new coin boxes. Yeah, yeah. so now we got wheel, wheel tire cleaner engine degreaser that comes through that brush over there. Comes through the coil hose. We got pre-soap which is coming through the blue gun right there. Uh, high pressure soap, which we didn't have at all. I mean, all these we obviously didn't have before. Before, all I had was foam brush, um, high pressure, and spot free. That was kind of spot free, not really. Um, so, so, we so went, you went from like four functions to essentially yeah, nine, right? which is amazing because you see, you know, like, you know, I mean, customers were coming in before, but now you see people use them all of them. They, they use the tire cleaner, then you see them pre soak the entire car, then they're rinsing it. Foam brush, and then you see them doing the wax. They're doing the spot free. They're doing the air dryer. There's so many things that they can spend time doing versus before it was foam brush, hose off, right. and that was it. So right. someone before this, someone could be done in like what three minutes? Oh yeah. And now yeah. they have all these options, and now they're done in like six or seven minutes. And what does that do? It increases the revenue. Increases your revenue. I mean, my, you know, I, I, it's hard to see the time per cash pair but my time per re credit card is i mean at least double versus what it was before yeah so it's, it's a huge difference so you went with the monex group you, got you know monex, th that was your choice got, and yeah. i'm excited to show that you have the count up we got count up option yeah. the thing i do like about monex i think the reader is i mean the best one that i've been able to see uh you know it's interactive it at least shows like okay it's authorizing it's either authorized or it's declined, like people are actually seeing it. Before I had a countdown where they, they started it up and then if they wanted to keep running, they need to make sure they press the button before it stopped. Right, right. Most people didn't understand that. Um, just confusing, but now it's so simple. It's, yeah, now it's just, it says tap, it insert goes, or swipe card. Time will start. There's a button that says, you know, press and hold when you're done to stop. You do that. And is nice for, for me as a as a user that's how that's how i like it so that's why i want it. absolutely and uh what have you noticed since you put the monex group credit card terminals in oh, yeah. the, like uh revenue wise I mean, revenue my credit card revenue is triple and that's that's february compared to september so that's off season versus you know one of the better months in, yeah in the, in the fall, so. and it's a little hard for you to get the full effect of the remodel because it's only been what five weeks since 
the remodel got completed yeah, yeah. and it's still winter time it's still you can see it's cloudy and windy and it's cold so yeah. you've yet to experience the full effect of the remodel um, we're still waiting for the warm weather like 70 80 90 degree yeah. sunny days where you're really going to notice the big uh, difference in revenue so there you go i mean 10 functions monex group that's uh, what it comes down to five hoses in the bays What's, what's your experience with the air dryers so far? You decided to put them in and... I love them. People, I mean, they're super powerful, triple motors. Um, people are using them pretty often. They're super easy to use, right? It starts up, you just hold it. So it's a five bay, and you actually have one bay, which is a smoke check, which is a separate yep. business from yours. Yep. Um, so there you go, five bays on a pretty decent busy road. That's like a six lane highway? Yeah, there's a six lane highway. It's, it's, yeah, there's a lot of traffic here. So opportunity to, you know, attract new customers Sweet. all the time. So, so let's uh, go inside the motor room, check it out and uh, see what we did there. Let's go. Come on into my crib. <laughs> MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. So this is the inside of your motor room, which we spent countless hours. Oh, yes. You guys are familiar with this place. So what was here when you got the car wash? Uh, I mean, obviously we didn't fully like gut it. We kind of took what was here and made it better, right? And kind of modified it to, to be a bit more updated. So before, obviously these three AirLogic wall mounts are brand new. So we got one for the soap brush, one for pre-soap, one for tire cleaner. So before, obviously this thing is original. This car wash is about 40 years old. Yeah, so we're using all these bins. One was for soap brush and one was for wax, but the wax wasn't really working. <laughs> right. Modified it, so now we're using two. One is for uh, for the high pressure rinse. One's being used for the wax, it actually works. Uh, before we had two water tanks, we just uh, consolidated that into one. Um, updated a lot of the hosing underneath here, so it was all just a lot cleaner. So the entire electrical box got updated and got an RO system, which we did not have before. We were renting some like soft water tanks that weren't as good, honestly. Like, right. We got comments about how the water was not. Dry and spotty. Not, not spot free. Not so, spot free. So yeah. you use the motors that were here, you use the pumps yep. that were here, yep. you know, with a little TLC, you know, adding some new lines. Yep. Um, it's just basically updating it. New lines, new I mean, these were done to add in the uh, spot free. Yep. So, you know, we added that on there. But basically, you know, you, you, you're using what's here and by doing that, you've saved 40, 50 grand or 30 grand or whatever it is. More than that. Yeah, if you were to buy a whole new five bay pump stand with pumps and motors, oh, yeah. you know, that, that's gonna set you back a little bit. But by using what's here, which is what I kind of preach, you know, if it works, use it till it doesn't. If you get six months or six years out of it, use it. That's my theory. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, these pumps, you know, they go for it. Like these motors, I don't know how old the, the motors are older than the pumps. And yeah. no issues, honestly, so. Yeah, maybe get a new fan belt on there. I just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Monex Group. With Monex Group, you only need one SIM and one router to run the whole car wash, so there's no need to pay a separate internet bill. In my experience, the customer service has been second to none. If there's any questions or issues I have, all I do is call them up and they take great care of me. And of course, I have to mention the availability of installation from coast to coast. So if you want to install the Monex Group readers at your business today, simply click the link in my description below and get a hold of them. Now back to the video. So I see that you've uh, invested in some new signs. We, we renamed, which was our, which the business was already named. We just hadn't updated the signage. And I wanted to wait until things got updated because I didn't want a new name tied to what the old car wash was. So, right. Yeah, so we got, you know, we're Bueno Bueno Car Wash. Look at that. You may have signed, seen the uh, My Garage where it was before, but. And if I'm not mistaken, Bueno Bueno is good, right? Like good. It's good, good. Right, good, it good, good car wash. It just rolls off the tongue. Yep. Where before it's just it like an afterthought in a way. Yeah. And also they have, they were cheaper banners before, so it looks great, so good job on the signage. Yep, thanks. Alright, what do you say we test this thing out? Let's do it. So I'm gonna pull the famous Tacoma into the bay, we're gonna wash it, we're gonna see how the stuff comes out, see if anything needs adjusting. Hopefully not, it should be on point. And then we're gonna get into some numbers, see what he spent on this thing, how long his lease is, and get into the nitty-gritty stuff that you guys wanna know about. 
So when you got this car wash, just up until last week, you were dispensing quarters in the bill changer. You made the big change to go to tokens. What were some of the reasons you went to tokens? And now that you are tokens, what are you noticing? Anything different? Yeah, uh, three main reasons for going to tokens. One was just the maintenance of the quarters. It's, it's a huge headache. Generally speaking, I'm, I'm spitting out more quarters than I'm bringing in by a little bit. So over time, I have to pull more out of the bank. Uh, it requires me to, to come here because, you know, when you're only spitting out one token for $1 versus four quarters for $4, you're running out of quarters a lot faster. Uh -huh. Um, so instead of replenishing like twice a week, maybe yeah, now you can exactly. do it once every I, I can easily two do weeks, it once a week, yeah, or more, yeah. Depends honestly. how busy you are. I mean, hopefully sooner because then you're busy. Better, better, <laughs> better, more often, I guess. You know, it's another theft deterrent. Like, you know, I always have, you know, homeless people running through here. Just, I've had theft issues in the past, not with these new machines, but you know, when it's quarters, you know, whatever. Yeah. Twenty five dollars is very attractive, you know, for a lot of work. So. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a couple <laughs> uh, of packets of smokes. Yeah, exactly. And um, and then the, uh, the I mean, the last one's just the wear and tear. You know, it's, it's yeah. one versus four. And uh, people were pulling up and stealing you. Well, not stealing because they're putting in a dollar for a dollar, but they're taking your quarters yeah. and driving off the whatever the laundromat or whatnot. Happened a lot. I saw it all the time. Yeah, it's just kind of like a public service, which yeah, you know, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's creating more work for you. And exactly. like you said, people were pulling up, blocking the smog bay. So he was complaining. Yeah. Now that's all gone. All those worries, all that complaining can go out the window. Tokens for the car wash, car wash customers only. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and start this bay. Check Do it out with the Monex Group car terminal reader. All right, so let's go ahead and start this thing. We're going to tap that on like that. Red card, okay. Pre-auth, connect in. And this one counts up, so I'm excited to uh, check it out since I have seen count up one before. All right, there we go. You want to do the honors? Yeah, what do you want to start with? Let's uh, go around the uh, rotary. Tire, tire and wheel cleaner? You know, tire and wheel cleaner. So let's get those tires nice and shiny. Got some green, green tire cleaner coming out there. We'll get in the grills there, the rims. Oh yeah, look at that, look at that. Now, funny, it kind of shoots out of these brushes a little bit, but you know, it gives a good amount. There you go. Next there, we'll go to the next one. You can put it on the car if you yeah. want. Sometimes people wash their entire car with this, you know. This this brush is different from the foam brush. A little, a little more durable bristles, so. Might get a little more grime and might, gunk yeah, off. Yeah, if you're okay with it getting on your paint, you know. It's, All it's right, that's good enough. So let's go and check out one of my favorites, which would be the pre-soak. And as you know, I have it come out of the separate coil hose. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that comes out, you know, I adjusted it recently. So it comes out a little more foamy. I wanted it to stick to the car. It's a little more runny before, so, you know, I like it to kind of take people People will do their entire car with this, you know, and then foam brush it, so. And I've seen customers, like, literally use this for two, three minutes. Oh, yeah. And sure. that's, like, what, two, three bucks right there? Depends what you uh, charge. Yeah. Look at the way the soap just drips down the car, and it's taking all the dirt with it. And there's plenty of dirt on my truck from the drive, but let's not waste any more of his product. High-pressure soap. Good pressure. Looks good. Oh yeah. That's probably the perfect amount. You've seen me show car washes where it gives barely any. You've seen me show car washes that give way too much. It's not that difficult to get right in between the middle. And this is pretty much exactly what I'm talking about. That's the perfect amount of high pressure soap. Good job, Ben. <laughs> you mean good job, you. And if you're in Las Vegas, of course, come and check out Buena Buena Car Wash. Absolutely. You have to. You have to. What do we got? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Got the foam brush. Foam brush time. Let's see it. Look at that. I mean. Yeah, that's beautiful. Again, you've seen me go to many car washes and the soap brush, just nothing comes out or it's shooting out or it's just runny or it's just crap and does not work. This one, we do not have an issue. That looks like 
looks like the perfect amount of soap. I mean, that's great. Yeah. Good job. There we go. Yeah, the wax is a little heavy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, it's better to have too much than not enough because at least customers, what are they going to say? Oh, it's too much. You know, yeah. it's better than nothing. Yeah. So you could probably just change the tip size in the hydro minder, take it down two sizes, and it'll probably come out yeah. the perfect amount, and you'll be saving. But yep. So we have the spot free rinse left, and get a close up of that. It says equipment in use. I've taken six minutes and 16 seconds. And I think, you know, customers are just going to use it. They're going to forget about the time they're going to use it to wash the entire car. And like Ben said, once he put these in counting up, it's increased his revenue by 30%. So look at that spot free. Pretty much the same pressure as mine. Maybe like three or 400. Yeah. Since you got the whole brand new uh, RO system, the RO, it, it, I've tested it multiple times. It comes out even without the air dryer. Uh -huh. It, it comes out really well on mirrors, on windows. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, it's all pretty good. We've got one more thing to test. What do we got? Infamous air dryer. The air dryer. Yeah. Wow. Power. And it's pretty simple. It says press and hold to stop. So you press and hold to stop, like it says. Amount needed. It's rounded up to $5. whatever you've used, yep. And it's as simple as that. So I do like the count up feature. Um, again, it doesn't really matter which one you use. People might use a little more, spend a little more with the count up feature, but that's the good thing about these. You get the choice whether you want to count up or count down. And like you just saw, we went, went around the whole 10 functions and everything worked pretty much perfectly you know if you told me to go in there and adjust anything the only thing I would do is dial back the wax a little bit and that would benefit Ben because he'd be saving a little bit on wax and it would, customers would probably benefit too because it uh, won't be drowning in it but besides everything worked 100% just like you saw and uh, like I said if you're in Vegas or passing through come check it out it's a must don't go to the strip Go to Buena Buena Car Wash. That's right. Northeast Vegas is where it's at. How yep. long have you had this car wash and how long you know, did you buy the land? Did you get a lease? Let's let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a leased uh, car wash. So I'm the operator, right? I'm not necessarily the owner of the building or the land. I, I purchased the lease from the previous operators, but, you know, at a much diminished cost versus, you know, this, this was a seven figures property to purchase because it was actually recently sold a few years ago um you know my, my lease was a fraction of that uh i have a 15 year lease with options for me to to renew it along the way and yeah. what you paid for the business is is nowhere near what you could build this thing for exactly. you know you, you you paid a very small amount and you got all the infrastructure you got everything you got the coal car wash business and then you just put some money into it. How much do you think you spent on putting into it? I, I put 82,000 into my Basto one. Yeah, yeah, about that, very similar amount. So yeah, I mean, I, I figured that, you know, probably in two to three years uh -huh. type of payback, which honestly, if you're gonna buy one, there, there has to be other options or other, you know, revenue generating opportunities to make money that quickly. You're yeah, and in my eyes, I mean, look, you've got a, a huge five bay car wash on a busy road. You know, all brand new equipment, and, and you know, it costs you 80 grand to uh, remodel this thing. So, in my opinion, that's a pretty, pretty cheap Relative brand new car wash to have. Yeah, yeah. Opposed to buy, finding some empty land, going through all the city permits, you know, that three, four hundred thousand dollars just to build one. So, yeah. 
you know, if I were you, I'd be very happy and uh, just looking forward to a good the weather to turn around, right? I love it. We're getting close, so it's, yep. it's been it's been awesome since all of it's really happening. All right, so Ben, you have uh, six vacuums at this car wash. I believe these two when I was here last were not working. Those four were, and like I said, you're you rebuilt it and you're using what is here. As you can tell, you know you can probably scrape this off, get a new decal, make it look nice. But the main thing is. The suction is really, really good. So let's talk about this. Uh... Yeah, so this one never worked. The previous owners, I don't know how long it was out of service. This one had a lot of issues. And we put in new motors in quite a few of them. That was an issue in some of others. And so now they all, you know, have full motors, uh, new filters on some of them. And while they don't look amazing, <laughs> they all work. That's all That's that all customers matters. care about. It's better than having a beautiful looking one that doesn't work and having a, yeah. you know, so not even new, that bad. coin acceptors. So they all accept quarters, dollar coins, tokens, bays and vacuums. And there you go. And I see you've welded on. Wow. There you go. Oh yeah. So guys, that's gonna do it from Chris at uh, Las Vegas. Very excited, I'm very proud of you, Ben. You've done very good with the car wash. All the success to you. And uh, I guess it's time to look for number two, right? That's right, thank you. Appreciate all your help. Yes, sir. All right, guys, Ben and Chris Atkins with the Car Wash Chronicles. See you all next video.